the Western society claiming to uplift the woman when it speaks about women's liberalization. It's nothing but a disguised form of exploitation of a body, deprivation of a soul, and degradation of honor. The Western society claiming to uplift the woman have actually degraded her to a status of concubines, butterflies, and mistresses, which are mere tools in the hands of pleasure seekers and sex marketers hidden behind the colorful screen of art and culture. In the name of art and culture, the Westerners, they're selling their daughters, they're selling their mothers. And you see it very common. In most of the ads, invariably, you have to find a woman. You see an ad of a motorcycle. How many women ride motorcycle? Yet you see a woman in the ad of motorcycle. In the ad of a car, percentage-wise, a small percentage of women drive cars. Yet you'll find a woman in the ad of a car. And I was told about a very famous advertisement ad of the BMW. You know BMW car? It's in competition with Mercedes. The youngsters, they prefer BMW. It has a better pickup. It is fast. Someone told me in one of the very famous ads of BMW, there was a woman who was standing in front of the car with a bikini, and the ad read, test driver now. Who, the girl or the car? <laughs> so in the name of women liberalization, they are selling their daughters. They are selling their mothers. We love our daughters. We love our mothers. We love our wives. If the hijab subjugates the woman and protects her, we love this subjugation. We love this subjugation and we love this protection. If this is your freedom in the name of women liberalization, selling your body, selling yourself, we are very happy with our religion. Islam has prescribed women hijab to protect her and to uplift her. And we see today the same thing is happening in the Western world. Same thing what happened in Greek civilization, Roman civilization, women in the name of liberalization, art, culture, modeling, fashion, TV, all this you see, what are they doing? Going back to the old age.